Well, today we're going to have a look at global gas reserves and gas production. The facts behind the headlines. Now, this comes hot on the heels of the Energy Institute's statistical review published on the 20th of June. And here we are, 25th of June, 2024. We've already done the global oil reserves and oil production and our analysis of that. It's a 16 minute long video, but today we're turning our attention to gas and initially gas reserves. As a reminder, these are the headlines from the Energy Institute report. Pause the video if you want to see these. But now going straight on to global reserves. Now we're quoting these numbers in trillions of cubic meters. No, we don't usually uh, use the metric. We normally use um, imperial billions of cubic feet, or in this case, trillions of cubic feet. But today we've got cubic meters. So here we go, global reserves of gas. And they've gone from around about 70 trillion cubic meters back in the uh, 1980. And here we are in 2020, 40 years later, and reserves stand just north of 180 trillion cubic meters. Now, uh, you, you can see the major producers here, uh, Russia, Turkmenistan, Iran, Qatar. I'm going to talk about some of these uh, as we go through the video. Now, I want to draw your attention to this little dark orange slither down here. This is the amount of gas that the UK produces. It is very, very small, very insignificant in the larger picture. Uh, you can see yeah, gas reserves, I mean, they are, they are rising, perhaps... Um, a little downturn here right at the end perhaps but essentially and that's possibly covid related but uh, we've got basically uh, lots and lots of gas reserves remaining we're going to look at this uh, red arrow and uh, this is our summation here that basically it's kind of it's steady it's steady it's not really going up an awful lot it's not going down at all it's relatively steady over the last decade or so now, if we look here at North America, um, we can see Canada in blue, Mexico in orange, and Mexico, well, that's been a bit of a sad story, really. The reserves have really, really fallen off and become almost insignificant in uh, the last couple of decades, uh, as opposed to the US, and you can see the US has boomed. And this, of course, is all down to fracking of shales, so... Fracking of shells, good thing to do if you want to get lots and lots of gas reserves. The picture here, the arrow is definitely up. Africa, again, if we look at Africa, you can see that uh, really for the last uh, decade or so, the uh, reserves been relatively flat, maybe a, a little upturn here. And I'm not entirely sure that this uh, this sudden plummet here is, is realistic. It's uh, obviously Algeria. Perhaps that's a, that's a bad data point in there but algeria and nigeria the two big producers within africa and generally speaking eh, it's been kind of flat hasn't gone up or down in the last decade or two now go to asia pacific and you can see all the countries listed up here and you can see that the basically the, the reserves have just gone up and up and up over this period of time from from four back in 1980 four trillion cubic meters up to around about uh, well nearly 16 and a half trillion cubic meters in 2020 the big resource centers here australia china and indonesia this is a success story and reserves going up cis well we've talked about cis before uh, this color here this was the ussr and of course uh, when the ussr um, ended and became the russian federation and also some of the cis states uh, they became independent you can see here turkmenistan now turkmenistan is huge and um, we've got uh, we've done a video of that quite a long time ago turkmenistan is a fascinating country and um, if it was kind of more open to do business in it would be a great place there's lots and lots of gas resources there um, and gas reserves. So Russia dominating in the CIS and this region, it's generally on a, on a reserves increase. Middle East, well, if we look at the two countries here, Iran at the bottom, uh, Iran was um, was basically increasing, but for the last uh, last fifteen years or so, or last ten years in this in this graph, it's been kind of uh, rather flat. Qatar, 
well, mainly down to uh, Northfield. And we've done a video on Northfield. If uh, you look it up, it's called the world's largest gas field. And a very, very popular video. It's had thousands of people watching that. Um, the story in the Middle East, well, essentially, for the last decade, been pretty flat. South and Central America, and you can see the countries there, dominated by Venezuela, and Venezuela, of course, with the Orinoco oil belt, um, heavy oil belt. Now, this is, uh, this is the picture for South America, and again, in the last decade, it's been rather flat. There hasn't been any major increase nor decrease in reserves. If you've been watching the arrows, we've seen three up and four, basically, stable, steady, hasn't changed very much. Now, there's always an exception. And what is that exception? You've guessed it. It's Europe. And if you look at Europe, you can see all the countries involved there, that from round about 2002, when uh, Europe was di we had uh, six TCM, that's a trillion cubic meters, it's gone to 2020, it's gone down to three and a half. It's almost halved in the last 20 years. Uh, you can see the big producers there starting at the top, the UK really, really declining um, with the infrastructure collapsing, then that's uh, only going to get worse. Ukraine, obviously in a, a difficult situation right now, but does produce or does have a lot of gas in the ground. Um, we'll have a look at the production later. Norway has been doing very, very well, but again, uh, we see quite a decline there in the uh, in the gas. You know, feels like uh, Frigg of, of, of now essentially gone. But uh, Netherlands, you can see the Netherlands story here, this grey band. The Netherlands, this is all down to Groningen. And uh, the Groningen field here, basically the reserves have kind of been written off because of a, a mixture of sort of uh, subsidence and, uh, and politics. Now, if we look in terms of gas production, this is the worldwide view. And now we've gone back to BCF. I love BCF. Billions of cubic feet. You can see here, and back in 1970, production was around about 100 BCF. And now in 2023, the right-hand side of the graph, you can see we're almost approaching 400. There has been a little COVID dip recently, uh, but we seem to be now back on track and producing gas at record amounts. Again, for production, the UK is this dark orange band. It was kind of a, a bit more significant back in the sort of the 90s and uh, early 2000s, but in recent years has really, uh, really dropped significantly. So overall, the UK fairly insignificant in terms of global gas production. Now, looking at North America, we can see how the US dominates this gray band here. Sort of Mexico, really, uh, there's this thin slither here. Significant numbers, but uh, Canada kind of been going along uh, quite steady for the last couple of decades or so. But it's the US, it's the, uh, it's the fracking of the shale that's uh, really brought about significant increases in gas production. For Africa, again, you can see the red arrow pointing up, and the major um, major countries contributing here: Algeria in yellow, Egypt, and uh, Nigeria in blue. These are the uh, there's, there's been increases, and uh, really back in 1970 there was hardly any production of gas. Um, a lot of it was flared, I guess, back then. But now we're producing about uh, 25 BCF of gas per day. Asia Pacific again you can see a rise pause the video if you want to see what's uh, who's the the mover and shakers are in this region likewise for CIS again we've got the USSR here um, in this sort of flesh color going across to the Russian Federation in green and then contributions from Turkmenistan and um, Uzbekistan and the overall well it's kind of steadyish but Minor, uh, a slight increase, perhaps something in the last couple of years, probably to do with the sanctions being imposed on uh, Russian Federation for the invasion of Ukraine. Now, Middle East, Middle East has seen a, a significant rise through time, and uh, it's really to uh, Iran has had this uh, steady increase in production, now amounting to well over 25 BCF of gas per day. Um, Qatar is huge, and of course Qatar is huge. 
because of the um, the north field south and central america you can see it's kind of been steady-ish from around about 2006 but there's been some ups and downs we're going to call that one steady pause the video if you want to see the detail of which countries are contributing and here we go here's the exception again and again it's europe and in terms of production well the uk was a major producer here back in the 2000s uh, early 2000s but has really really massively declined since that period of time Norway's kind of plateaued out, you can see through here. And of course, Netherlands with the shutting in of Groningen have seen this major, major decline. Overall for Europe, production levels are way down. So there's more detail on the UK and Norway. Pause the video if you want to see more about those. Um, we've mentioned uh, the Groningen effect on Netherlands as well. Um, in summary, so global gas reserves, well, they are increasing. There is more gas reserves available and production is also globally it is increasing europe being the exception but usa being a real bright spot with the increased production there gas increase well it is consistent with the transition to net zero it is the uh, the lowest carbon fossil fuel and it is required to uh, to have all this gas-fired um, power plants etc etc just to to ensure that if we can move away from dependency on coal in particular and oil to a lesser extent then gas is a good step towards uh, cleaning up emissions of carbon dioxide anyway that's what we all got all we've got for today thanks for watching come back soon we've got more videos in the uh, in the making bye for now thank you for watching i hope you found that interesting please hit the like subscribe and ring the bell hope to see you back on our channel before too long bye for now